Hi everybody, today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers The Movie G1 Retro Collection Hound. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collection. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. All right, here's a closer look at the front of the package. And man, I gotta tell you, I really love the colors, the nostalgia, all of it is just the, the pinks and the purples, well, of course, because that's my channel colors, but, you know, the greens, the oranges, the bright yellows, man, this just looks great. It is in that plastic-free packaging, which this does look beautiful, but for these retro packages, I really would like those old-school retro looking packages that we had like in the 80s with the red and the clear plastic on the front uh, i know that you know hasbro is going back to that so hopefully these new uh, any new retro releases we get will go back to that packaging i would love to have hound in that package um, but you know we get what we get uh, this thing just looks absolutely fantastic. Tilting it down a little bit and looking at the top of the package, you can see that it's basically like a really simple four-step process. You know, they took it easy on us back in the day. Uh, it wasn't really complicated. You don't have 57 steps to get from robot to vehicle and back again. But here we have with just a look at the four easy steps. It's a little more complicated than that, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, here on the back of the package, you can see him in robot form and in vehicle form. And uh, the little write-up says, the universe is threatened by the greatest villain Cybertron has ever known. The heroic Autobots must find a way to destroy this menace if they hope to save their home world. Till all are one, has Autobot, Hound, uh, Function, Scout, observe everything and remember even more. Hound is a fearless and loyal as they come. He fights bravely to defend Autobot City from the attacking Decepticons. And you can see his stat bar there with the, the uh, with his showing his strength, his intelligence, his speed, and his uh, power, which is really cool. Dig it. Uh, this is how uh, the figure comes packaged. He uh, comes tied in with three straps. Uh, one's kind of hard to see because it's behind the windscreen. And then all of his accessories uh, in this little baggie. And he does come with an instruction booklet. Speaking of accessories, here's everything you get. You get three missiles on a sprue tree. You get his shoulder-mounted cannon. Uh, you get his uh, laser blaster, you get three accessories for his Jeep mode, which is a gas can, a spare tire, and his um, gun turret, which all look really nice. All right, let's take a closer look at Hound out of the package. And let's see here, where to start? This thing just looks great. The, the seats uh, are foldable, but I think that that's more due to a, uh, a process of the transformation than anything else this back part right here is nice and cold to the touch so that means it's metal just like the uh the old days uh you can move the windscreen back and forth here's a good look at the front of that jeep trademark uh grill which looks really nice with the autobot symbol and the star got some tampo stickers around the sides which look really nice um, we have a couple of accessories like this gas can uh, that you actually put on the vehicle uh, in, um, in its uh, vehicle mode. So you put the gas can on, you put this uh, wheel. Uh, it's not like an actual extra wheel that you can snap on and off with the other wheels. It's actually covered. Uh, and then we have this gun turret that you can put uh, in the bed that can swivel and raise up and down. And uh, that's pretty neat. Those are all really neat touches that I really like. Uh, but uh, there he is in vehicle form. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in some other vehicles for size comparison. Here we have the G1 uh, Retro Collection Optimus Prime and the uh, G1 Retro Collection uh, Hot Rod. And they look great. I think they scale very well together, uh, especially in vehicle mode. <laughs> Maybe not so much in, uh, in robot mode, but they look great. They scale nice with each, uh, with each other. But uh, let's get these guys out of the way. He also rolls really nice. I hope you guys saw that. Um, and uh, when you want to transform, you want to take these accessories back off again. So the, the gun turret comes off, the wheel, and uh, the gas tank, you want to take those off. Um, and then like the first thing you want to do is actually kind of like pull the, the front uh, part and the back part apart from each other. Uh, and then you, um, Probably the next thing you want to do is like fold these um, feet down and then fold the seats up into the back of what's going to be the heels. Um, uh, those don't really come apart any further than that. You want to rotate these little side pieces downward 
um, to have somewhere for these wheels to rotate down to. Uh, and then you just bring down the chest, which automatically uh, makes the head pop out, which you can see right there, which is really cool, and fold the windscreen down. And then slide the wheels downward on these, on these little pegs, and they'll stay at his side. And then you just want to kind of it's a little little difficult a little difficult there you just want to slide the arms out um kind of have to get a nail under them and then rotate them down a little bit to be able to slide them out and there you have it um that's how you transform him uh he has this side cannon right here uh this is shoulder mounted cannon and here are the uh the little missiles so we'll go ahead and take one off the sprue tree and it'll, you'll just like fit it in there um it just kind of pushes in and it kind of clicks in, but this doesn't fire in any way. I mean, I can kind of move this thing back and forth, but it is not not going to uh, fire. That missile's in there. So I don't know if it's intended to fire or if mine's broken or if they just didn't put the firing mechanism in the uh, into the uh, the new edition. But another, nevertheless, uh, you can still just put it on his, uh, there's a little slot right here. For it to slide in you can actually put this on his right shoulder or his left shoulder it really doesn't matter uh whatever your preference is and then you just want to give him his laser blaster and uh there you have it he is transformed and in his robot mode so let's see how he compares back to optimus prime and uh, hot rod now that he's in uh, robot mode let's go ahead and bring in optimus prime here and uh oh boy he's a little bitty fella right next to optimus optimus just kind of like towers towers over this guy and uh and there's hot rod uh as well let me uh i gotta tilt the camera up a little bit so these guys are a little bit more in frame and uh there you have it that's how he stacks up next to optimus and hot rod and happen to have a couple of bad guys out here so let's bring in um sound wave this is the g1 collection sound wave and uh star so that's how he compares to those guys as well so let's get these guys out of the way and if you want to transform this guy back into his uh, robot mode, you just want to, or his car mode, you just want to get the weapons off of the sides. And uh, when you go to put his arms in, you really got to make sure that you push them in all the way. Because if you don't push them in all the way, you're not going to have enough clearance for the wheels. Uh, you kind of want to get that windscreen out of the way. You want to make sure that you rotate these two pieces back upwards uh, towards the front of the Jeep. Uh, again, you just want to make sure those arms are pushed in all the way so that the wheels clear when you push them up like that. Then you just want to um, sort of fold the feet back flat again. Uh, you got to get the seats out of there first so that... What's going on here? Okay, that one's moving, but this one's kind of... I don't know what's going on. This one's kind of stuck. Let's see. What am I, what am I missing here? What's not... Oh, oh, I see. The, uh, the seat is... There we go. The bottom of the seat was pushed in and keeping that from moving. So you just want to make sure you get the seats all the way, push the whole thing forward again, flatten those seats out, get them in a more upright position, and then um, put the windscreen up. And there you have it. There is Hound back in his Jeep mode. And boy, is he looking great. So before we say goodbye to this guy, we're going to just get him kitted back out with the rest of his accessories. We're going to get the turret put back in. Let's go ahead and put the gas can back on the back because honestly, I really think this guy is going to stay on my shelf as a Jeep because this mode just looks so good. But who knows, in a couple of days, I'll probably transform him back and get him back in robot mode and that's how I probably live. Man, he just looks incredible. I just love the old school aesthetic. I love that he's, you know, part plastic, part metal, just like we got before. And uh, I really dig it and he fits in well with the uh, other G1 um, uh, Transformers from the movie that I have on my shelf. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Please continue to um, hit us up over at Instagram.com slash Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I am the Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark. And remember, I will see you in the toy aisles.